this video, I am going to show you guys my step-by-step -step take profit and yield farming plan on how you can turn $20,000 into $1.1 million investing into TruFi. So in this video, I'm gonna briefly explain what TruFi is, and I say briefly because we made a fundamental deep dive on the Know It Owls YouTube channel, go subscribe. We talked about the tokenomics, we went through the white paper, we went through the analytics, we literally went through everything, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys the high level here, but watch that if you want more of a deep dive. I'm gonna talk about why I'm buying TruFi right now. I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step take profit plan on how to turn 20K into 1.1 million. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you my yield farming strategy for how I plan on accumulating TruFi passively so that I'll have more to sell as we continue to go deeper into the bull market. Now, before I get started, I do have to say none of this is financial advice. These are my own opinions, my own research, my own perspectives, and they should be treated as such. Always do your own research, but use this channel as a starting point. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the content, starting off with what is TruFi and why am I buying it now? So TruFi is a private credit protocol. They allow you to get under collateralized loans, right? In crypto, this is a hair on fire problem. You can only get loans via the pawn shop model. So let's say I want to go pawn my phone. They'll tell me it's worth $100. It may be worth $500. So that way, if I don't pay back my loan, they'll be able to sell my phone and get some profits from taking the risk. But in the real world, that's not how people borrow money and it's damn sure not how financial institutions borrow money. The whole point of borrowing money is to get access to money that you don't have. Imagine if you were going to go get a mortgage and to borrow $300,000, you have to put up three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollars in collateral it doesn't really i'm not gonna say it doesn't make sense but it's not an efficient model of lending so trufi does kyc you have to prove who you are show different things depending on what pool you want to borrow from and you can get under collateralized lending they have borrowers they have lenders and they also have portfolio managers so if you wanted to run your own strategy and loan out funds and manage capital you can do it all on the platform i think it's really cool so why am I buying TruFi right now? First reason is because they're within the RWA narrative, real world assets. And if you've watched our channel for a while, you know we've been talking about this for a long time. RWA is, is my favorite narrative going into the bull market because it's attractive to institutions and institutions have 98 to 97% of the money. So they're gonna send RWAs to the moon, in my opinion. In addition to that, I'm really bullish on private credit protocols. Let me show you why. So if we head over to rwa.xyz and we look at some of the private credit protocols, you can see that in the peak of the bull market, there was $1.5 billion in active loans, but right now we're around 530 million. So it wouldn't be crazy to think that this is gonna increase as we go deeper into the bull market. Now, here's another thing to think about. Interest rates are really high. I don't know when the Fed's going to start lowering rates, but I, if I had to guess, I would say July or September. And we talk about that on the Know It Owls uh, macro calls. Feel free to watch one of those videos to get more details. But in a bull market, I think the fundamentals for private credit protocols are going to increase. The reason why is because in a bull market, the balance sheet of crypto companies, who most of these private credit protocols cater to and loan to, their, their balance sheet is going to balloon right? Because they're holding crypto on their balance sheet. This is, gonna, this is gonna make them more credit worthy and they're gonna come on platforms such as TruFi and other platforms that we talk about, Maple, Goldfinch, and Clearpool, and borrow money. In addition to that, these protocols, these private credit protocols such as TruFi, who also probably hold crypto on their balance sheet, their balance sheet is gonna balloon as we get deeper into the bull market and their appetite for risk is going to increase because they have more liquidity. So it's a positive self-reinforcing cycle. In addition to that, I think that once we get into the peak of the bull market, the active loans is going to be even higher than this one because you know crypto has a, more, a bigger stamp of approval. We got a Bitcoin ETF, probably gonna have an ETH ETF. We just have the halving, et cetera, et cetera. So once companies come and start to borrow more money, it's going to increase the active loans which is going to increase the fundamentals, because this is what these projects do, which will in turn increase the price. And if you look here, you can see that in total loans, TruFi is number two. They've done $1.7 billion in total loans. So if they keep that trajectory in the bull market, they might move up this list a little bit. 
but in active loans, they're in fifth place with $19 million in active loans outstanding. But if you scroll over here, they earn the most fees, more than Centrifuge, more than Maple, more than Goldfinch, and $4.1 million. So their fee model may be a little bit better. So now that I've showed you what TrueFi is and why I'm buying it now, let me show you my step-by-step -step take profit strategy for how I plan on turning $20,000 into $1.1 million. So here's my handwritten take profit plan, nice and simple. So when you're coming up with a take profit plan, it's really important to come up with a conservative estimate as to where you think the asset will hit, as well as an aggressive estimate, and have your take profit strategy set up to where even if the conservative isn't hit, or if it exceeds the aggressive, you're still able to make some really good money. All right, so starting off here, the current price is 11 cents at the time of this recording. The market cap is just $131 million, 131 million point five. And I'm estimating that conservatively, we'll see a $5 billion market cap, and that's super conservative. And aggressively, I think we'll see a $12 billion market cap. That doesn't mean that it'll be worth that much, but in the peak of bull markets, all the projects become overvalued. One of my favorite quotes by Warren Buffett is that in the short term, the market's a voting machine. Think meme coins, people are voting and speculating on them right now. In the long term, it's a weighing machine. And that kind of hints that everything returns to the mean in the sense that the fundamentals will shine and show how valuable a protocol truly is and the price will reflect that. So starting off, I got $20,000. My first take profit is gonna be when it does a 15X. That's gonna bring the price from 11 cents to a buck 65. It's going to bring the market cap from 131.5 million to 1.9 billion. We're still well under my conservative estimate. So now my 20K is going to be worth 300K. I'm taking off 60K in profit so I get my principal back plus the 200% profit locked in. So I'm playing with house money. My goal is always to be playing with house money as fast as I can. But on this one, I'm being a little more risky with my take profit plan just because I have a lot of other ones that are conservative. So I'm cool with that. So now I have 240K left. My second take profit is gonna be once it does a 3X. It's gonna bring the price from a buck 65 to $4.95. It's gonna bring the market cap from 1.9 billion to 5.9 billion. And now my 240K is gonna be worth 720K. At this point, I'm taking off 320K in profits. And now I still have 400K left. My third take profit is gonna be when it does a 2X. It's gonna bring the price from $4.95 to $9.90. It's gonna bring the market cap from $5.9 billion to $11.8 billion, right under my aggressive estimate. As I talk about in all my videos, the more the price goes up, the more aggressive I'm taking profits because I know we're getting closer to the top. I don't know when the top's gonna to be and I'm not gonna fool myself into trying to time it. So I'm taking off $700,000 in profits. And now I still have $100,000 left in the position. If you add this $100,000 to the profits that I took, that is $1.1 million. You just turned 20K into that. So now you're probably wondering, well, what do I do with the remaining 100K? Well, at this point, I'm gonna be taking off 50% every time there's a 25% increase so that whenever you know the bull market's over and things just drop 80, 90%, which they will, I'm cool with that. I got most of my profits out anyway. So now for those of you who stuck around, let me show you my exact yield farming strategy for how I plan on accumulating TrueFi passively so I have more to sell as we go deeper into the bull market. So here we are on CoinGecko. I wanna scroll down to see where most of the trading is happening. So it says that 0.2% is happening on Uniswap V3 on TrueFi USDC. Now, I don't like this pair because you guys know that if you've watched my channel, in bull markets, the best pairs to provide liquidity for are volatile, volatile pairs because you have a higher likelihood of staying within range because a rising tide raises all ships. So if ETH is pumping, which is what I would want to pair TrueFi with, TrueFi is most likely going to pump as well versus TrueFi and USDC. It's going to be harder to stay within range because USDC is going to stay at a dollar more or less while TrueFi is just going to be going up and down like crazy. So if I go to Uniswap and I go to top pools, I'm going to type in true and see what I can find here. All right, so you got ETH true. So you can see that the TVL is 592,000, but the 24-hour volume was under was only 114,000. So I'm not really liking that, you know, and if I click on it here, the TVL's been increasing, the volume's been increasing, but you can see it's nowhere near where it was in 2021. 
and it doesn't look like it's really starting to pick up. Now, you guys heard me talk about my concept of selling shovels during a gold rush. Definitely watch that video. So it's a good idea to get ahead of volume, right? If you know someone is gonna be buying something because you get to make the fees because liquidity providers are gonna provide liquidity faster than people are gonna buy because once we get into the heat of the bull market, the Coinbase's and the Kraken's and the Gemini's kind of crash. So it's easier to spin up a MetaMask wallet to buy your favorite altcoins and just come to a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. However, I would like to generate some good money now. So while it is good to find a pool in the asset that you want to accumulate in the LP there, sometimes it just makes more sense to find two other projects you're bullish on like Maple ETH, find a pool with a good volume to TVO ratio and use the rewards from that pool to buy TrueFi. Because what I'm seeing here is not worth it for me to provide liquidity for TrueFi. So if I go over to Revert Finance, it shows all my pools right now. Uh, my top pool, Maple ETH, has 13K in it. I'm getting 279% APR. I rebalanced like a week ago and I'm already back up to one to $1,500 more or less in fees on the market dip. That's the cool thing about yield farming. You make money from volume. So that's buying volume and selling volume, right? And last month I pulled out $5,500 in fees and the principal was up 5K. So I pretty much ROI in a little over a month and I'm playing with house money in this pool now. And you can see I've been in, for, been in it for 63 days. So if I want to accumulate TrueFi, this is a much better pool. I'd rather just take my rewards from here and use it to buy more TrueFi. And that's what I'm going to do. So guys, if you like this kind of content and you want to learn how to provide liquidity like a professional market maker and generate insane amounts of passive income on high quality assets so you can accumulate more and have more to sell at the peak of the bull market, click the link in the description, book a free strategy session. We'll tell you about our flagship course. We'll tell you about our elite coaches and our elite community and how it can help you reach your goals and answer any questions you may have on yield farming or the markets in general. If it's a good fit for you, Great. If not, we're happy to point you in the right direction. But with that, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you got value, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, share with a friend. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love every single one of you who's watching right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and trade safe.